X-Files. The truth is in here. X-Files headquarters, Vancouver, Canada. We've got to stay true to the story. We can't just create a whole... So what we can do is we can... This is where creator Chris Carter and his staff shaped the Friday forays into the paranormal. And we they need to spring Mulder for that day, too, then, do we? <laughs> this is how they choose a stand-in. They pick somebody with completely different hair. FBI agent Mulder is played by David Duchovny, subject of magazine covers, Ivy League-educated actor, with a dry sense of humor and a dog named Blue. I always thought it would be a good name for a dog or a child, and I had the dog first, so... dog got the name, so the child will have to be named Fido. The other star in the dark, smoky set, Jillian Anderson, Agent Scully, intense on screen, relaxed off. I'm rocking, aren't I? I'm sorry. The character always has to go... <laughs> the character always has to go back to her roots, which are in physics and medicine and everything, and, and that keeps the balance of the show going. Because if we were both running around believing everything, there just wouldn't be high drama. Drama, as they say in Canada. While there's no love interest between Scully and Mulder, Carter revealed to CNN that Covney's character will get a girlfriend, maybe a new FBI agent. I'll let Mulder have an outside interest, uh, a girlfriend. Let's go to another country. Let's... Let's uh, see, let's take it into a courtroom. Let's, let's, you know, take evidence and go somewhere else with it rather than go into my FBI boss. 64 dead to take one. A mark. The soundstage is where most of the shooting takes place, home to Workaholics Anonymous. One of the mottos on the X-Files set, sleep is for wimps. Not only do they work long days, routinely 15 hours, but they work 10 months out of the year. And that's why you don't see the show's stars popping up all over various television shows and in various movies. Mulder! Yeah. What's happening? Did you find her? It gets to that point at, at some some points in the year when, when we've got heavy episodes and we're just, you know, shooting hours and 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 stuff. We get to a point where we're half dead. And have to go. And have to go. There's constant motion at X-Files headquarters and unending irony. Carter celebrated his birthday on Friday the 13th. On this show, every day is Friday the 13th, actually. Bizarre happenings are met with religious fervor by some X-Files fans. It's a show that, that it's dealing in, you know, metaphysical terms. It's dealing in things that, that you can't see or, or touch. So, in that sense, it's spiritual. But Duchovny doesn't lose himself in X-Files mania, not with a buddy like Blue. She's humiliated. You see that face? She's like, oh, God. Look at that. She's like this. Mm -hmm. Again, 